Sewage systems are recognized as an important source of human pathogens, especially in crowded settings with poor infrastructure. The Global Sewage Surveillance Project at Research Group for Genomic Epidemiology will serve as proof of concept for applying metagenomic approaches, which can initiate a global surveillance of human infectious diseases, including antimicrobial resistance from sewage collected in major cities around the world. To detect, control, prevent, and predict human infectious diseases. After receiving packages with sewage samples from cities around the world, our technicians will do their work to sequence DNA directly from the sewage samples. We unpack the packages, mm -hmm. and there's supposed to be two samples from different dates, one liter each. The sewage samples will be prepared for DNA extraction and sequencing. The samples are divided into 250 milliliter and centrifuge at 10,000 G to separate between supernatant and pellet. We separated the supernatant from the pellet. And then we take the pellet from the sewage sample. The pellet will be prepared for DNA extraction using Chiagen DNA extraction kits. Bead beating for three times to destroy bacterial cell well to release DNA. The DNA is isolated and diluted through column. After getting DNA, we have to make a DNA library to prepare the DNA for sequencing. Now the DNA sample is ready to be sequenced by sequencing machine. The sequencing machine will read all DNA sequences from the sample and store DNA information in a text file. After we get raw sequences from the sequencer, they have to go through certain steps of uh, pipeline, which include quality control, aligning of reads to the databases, and anal further analysis of the output files. Quality control step includes the removal of adapter sequences, trimming of low quality bases from the end of the reads, and further removal of short read sequences. Uh, aligning of reads to the databases means that we have certain uh, databases that we can align our sequences to, and at the moment we have uh, uh, we have uh, several. Uh, databases for whole genome of whole genome sequences, which include bacteria, fungi, vertebrates, invertebrates, parasites, viruses, plasmids, human, and also we have some databases uh, which uh, contain uh, genes, which is antimicrobial resistance, virulence factors, and we're also preparing databases for transposons and insertion sequences. Also, uh, it's available to align your sequences. Uh, against the nucleotide database available from NCBI. And after we align the sequences to the databases, uh, in our metagenomic sequence uh, samples we can um, detect antimicrobial resistance levels or the most abundant antimicrobial resistant genes and also we can uh, monitor the level of certain pathogens and the presence of the virulence genes. Metagenomics is definitely a way to monitor antimicrobial resistance and to detect pathogens in the samples and hopefully uh, soon we can uh, make our world healthier.